hello so far we have seen the golden geometry of 1 2 root 5 right triangle okay in this part we are going to see the classical geometric relationship between a couple of right triangles the classical geometric intimacy between 1 2 root 5 triangle and 3 4 5 Pythagorean triple which is the first of primitive Pythagorean triples and I would like to mention these two right triangles are observed to be invariably forming together by various geometric methods these two triangles are formed together by different geometric methods and several such methods I have described in my paper in this session I am going to describe a couple of such methods in short like consider the reference triangle a b c which is 1 2 root 5 right triangle okay and since it's a right triangle this point b it is also the ortho center of this triangle and the midpoint of hypotenuse point o it is the circum center of this triangle okay hence line b o is the euler line of this triangle and importantly this BO is also the median on hypotenuse I repeat 1 2 root 5 right triangle hence B vertex B is the ortho center midpoint of hypotenuse O is the circum center line BO is the Euler line and the smallest median or the median on hypotenuse that BO that coincides with this Euler line now this BP BP is the angle bisector of this right angle okay and this line BQ this is altitude on hypotenuse BP is angle bisector of right triangle and BQ is altitude on hypotenuse interestingly this BQ is also the sim median because these two angles P, B, Q and P, B, O are equal. Hence, B, Q is altitude on hypotenuse and this B, Q is also the sim median. Now, interestingly, this triangle formed here, B, O, Q is 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean trip. Angle B, O, Q is a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean trip. In other words, in 1, 2, root 5, right triangle, the median on hypotenuse and the sim median produce a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple or the Euler line and the altitude on hypotenuse produce 3, 4, 5 triple. In this way, the 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple is formed inside the 1, 2, root 5, right triangle. There are several other methods like if we draw a perpendicular on Euler line like this perpendicular on Euler line from vertex A suppose AS is the perpendicular on Euler line from vertex A in this case this triangle ASO formed here is a Pythagorean triple okay because this angle is precisely 53 Point 13 and so on degrees which is the angle of Pythagorean triple so this triangle formed here ASO is 3 4 5 Pythagorean triple and it is also accompanied by the formation of a 1 2 root 5 triangle this triangle here ASB it is 1 2 root 5 triangle similarly if we draw perpendicular from vertex C on Euler line like CR is perpendicular from vertex C on Euler line and if we connect vertex C to D long charge point D long charge point means point X 20 in Kimberling encyclopedia okay perpendicular from vertex C on Euler line and if we connect vertex C to D long charge point in this case this triangle COR 
is 3, 4, 5 triangle and C, D, R is a 1, 2 root 5 triangle. In this way, these couple of triangles are formed together by different geometric methods which I have described in detail in my paper. So visit the paper link. Here I am going to elaborate the most important method of concurrent geometric formations of these two triangles. And that most important method is a simple dissection of a square. Okay, consider here. Consider square A, B, C and D. For ease of explanation, for ease of illustration, the side of this square is taken as twice the square root of 5. Side of square here is twice the square root of 5. But what I am going to say is true for any square. Consider square A, B, C and D. P is the midpoint of side AD and R is the midpoint of side DC. Alright, so far so good. Now, let's connect point P to vertices B and C. PB and PC. We connected this midpoint to vertices B and C and we connect vertex B to point R which is midpoint of DC. Okay, such simple dissection of square by three lines. PB, PC and BR. This simple dissection of a square by three line segment gives us interesting geometric figure like this triangle formed here in center triangle P B Q this is precisely a 3 4 5 Pythagorean trip okay and all other triangles formed in this figure are precisely the 1 2 root 5 triangles like this triangle C Q R C P D C R B C Q B A B P all other triangles formed here are 1 2 root 5 triangles of different sizes another interesting thing consider these three triangles 3 1 2 root 5 triangles like C R Q C Q B and A B P. These three angles are in specific proportion with each other. Their side lengths are in specific proportion with each other. These three triangles and because of their side lengths also their perimeters, semi perimeters, their n red D, their x red D all are in specific proportion with each other and the proportion is 1, 2 and root 5. Such a simple dissection of square giving such a classical geometry. So this 3, 1, 2 root 5 triangle are in specific proportion 1, 2 root 5 with each other. The central triangle produced here is Pythagorean triple. Another interesting thing. You can notice beside this 1, 2 root 5 triple and multiple 1, 2 root 5 triangles, two irregular quadrilaterals are formed in this figure. Irregular quadrilateral A, B, Q, A, P, Q and B. This quadrilateral here. Alright. And another quadrilateral P, D, R, Q. This quadrilateral here. This part and this part. Prima facie, these two quadrilaterals seems to be irregular quadrilateral. But they possess some interesting geometric features like these are right triangle here, this one, this one, and this one. Other two angles of these irregular quadrilaterals are this angle here and this angle here. Angle APQ and angle DRQ both are precisely equal to 116.56 degrees which is equal to twice the arc tan of golden ratio okay and these two triangles here triangle abq and angle abq and angle dpq these angles are precisely 
point four three five so on degrees, which is twice the arc tangent of the inverse of golden ratio. Okay, so many interesting things are there. Now, even we find the precise golden ratio embedded in a dissected square like this. Let me elaborate. Consider these sides. Consider this irregular quadrilateral A, B, Q, P, and another quadrilateral P, Q, R, D. We can notice here the golden ratio is not just embedded in angles of this quadrilateral, but the golden ratio is observed also in the side length of these quadrilaterals, like these sides, A, B, and B, Q. A B plus B Q upon this side A P upon P Q A P plus P Q sum of two longer side and sum of two smaller side. Similarly, this is equal to sum of two longer sides like P D and P Q. PD plus PQ upon DR plus RQ, DR plus RQ, and these two values are precisely equal to golden ratio. All right, it's not just angles of this quadrilateral, but the side length proportions of these two quadrilaterals are the expression of precise golden ratio. In other words, consider this quadrilateral A, P, Q, B. What we have seen, the golden proportion between the angles as well as corresponding sides of this quadrilateral, we can say it in other words also. Like, if we connect 1, 2, root 5 triangle, an equivalent size 3, 4, 5 triangle along their common hypotenuse. I repeat. If we connect 1, 2, root 5 triangle and 3, 4, 5 triangle of equivalent size along their common hypotenuse, the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles are the precise expression of golden ratio. Let me elaborate. Consider here, in this diagram, this triangle A, D, C is a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple. Okay, this is right triangle. And this triangle, A, B, C, is a 1, 2, root 5 triangle of equivalent size. This is common hypotenuse. Okay. And in this case, we can say A, B, this side of 1, 2, root 5 triangle and this side of Pythagorean triple. A, B plus A, D upon the smaller cathedry of root angle BC plus CD precisely equals to golden ratio and not just side lines also the corresponding angles two corresponding angles two smaller acute angles of these two triangles 26.565 degrees and 36.87 degrees they add up to precisely twice the arc tangent of inverse of golden ratio and larger acute angles this is 63.435 degrees and this is 53.13 degrees these two larger acute angles of these two triangles precisely add up to twice the arc tangent of golden ratio Such is the classical geometric relationship between these two triangles, the 1, 2 root 5 triangle and 3, 4, 5 primitive Pythagorean triple. 
the details of this classical intimacy between these two triangles is given in the paper so visit the paper link here i want to mention one more thing that corroborates the classical geometric relation between these two triangles like consider this quadrilateral a p q b this quadrilateral is composed of these two triangles this triangle here triangle a p b is the 1 2 root 5 triangle triangle a p b is 1 2 root 5 triangle and this triangle here p b q this is 3 4 5 pythagorean triple look at the angles of these triangles in this 1 2 root 5 triangle this angle the larger acute angle it measures 63.435 and so on degrees and the smaller acute angle 26.565 degrees similarly in 3 4 5 pythagorean triple the larger acute angle 53.13 degrees and this angle here is 36.87 degrees okay now consider the quadrilateral a p q b which is made up of these two triangles one two root five triangle and three four five triangle in this quadrilateral p b is the diagonal if we introduce second diagonal a q in this quadrilateral a p q b p b is the first diagonal which is common hypotenuse of these two triangles. Now, if we introduce second diagonal AQ like this, second diagonal AQ, here it is observed that this second diagonal AQ divides the right angle in each triangle into the smaller angles of its complementary triangle. I repeat, the second diagonal AQ divides the right, right angle in each triangle into the smaller angles of its complementary triangle. Like this angle is 53 degree here, 53.13 degrees. This angle is also 53.13 degrees. This angle, look at this angle, the smaller acute angle of Pythagorean triple. This angle is also 36.87 degrees here precisely. Similarly, this larger acute angle of 1 to root 5 triangle, and this angle here is also 63.435 degrees. This angle, smaller acute angle of 1 to root 5 triangle, this angle is also 26.565 degrees. In other words, the second diagonal aq divides the right angle of 1 to root 5 triangle into two acute angles of 3 4 5 pythagorean triangle and vice versa such is the classical geometric intimacy between these two triangles details of this classical geometric relationship are given in the paper so don't forget to visit the paper link and keep watching this video let us see you in the next part of this video. Thank you.